Over the weekend, the House passed a $95 billion foreign aid package. Speaker Mike Johnson led the effort despite dissent within his own party, turning to Democratic colleagues for support. The package was made up of four different bills, directing $60 billion to Ukraine and its war with Russia, including funding for military training and weapons. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky speaking with NBC's Meet the Press about what the aid means to his country. And I guess the question is, can Ukraine now win this war or is the United States merely giving you enough aid to prolong this war? Thank you. I think this support will really strengthen the armed forces of Ukraine. And we will have a chance for victory if Ukraine really gets the weapons system, which we need so much, which uh, the thousands of soldiers need so much. And this aid should not be just spread in thin layer all over, but it has to end up in tangible weapon systems. The House's package also includes $26 billion for Israel, which sees additional funding for the country's missile defense systems. $8 billion goes to the Indo-Pacific to support Taiwan over concerns of a potential Chinese invasion. The fourth bill includes, among other items, an updated measure seeking the Chinese company ByteDance to sell the social media app TikTok, extending the deadline from six months to a year. The package now heads to the Senate, where voting is expected to begin on Tuesday.